we act when they encounter uh, and Go peacefully. Agents, and also how to prepare a family plan. It's really important to protect our families. That's the core of our home. What That's the core of our city. And the core the of our country as well. Are you out of your so mind? keeping the community the in law. our you're right. you're that's our priority. Break the law. That's one of the main priorities of the organization. And believe me, Janice, don't right get now, out. information and education is the most powerful tool we all could have within our grasp. The only thing we need to do is look Excuse for it. Me. Okay? Uh, and just remember, your rights Wait, under the Constitution, they mean nothing. Oh, they won't oh, let you ask our questions. So we meant to these things before. Okay. Well, at the end, they will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so why is she so you can defend yourself? The law. Why Come on, this is insulting. Now, uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sorry. Excuse me. The solution is you have the right to remain silent. Uh, Anything no. you person Go say peacefully. could be used and will be used against you. And that's basic one on one rights, right? She's teaching Ill illegals about how to break the law. The rights. Everybody knows about Look two at this. You have the right to remain silent. And then we brought something to the detained by we immigration. Remember, the table in the front, it's the Know Your Rights cards. That if you have one of those cards, you have it on your wallet, you have it in your purse, and you are detained either by immigration or law enforcement, regardless of your immigration status, you can just show that card and make sure that you remain silent. Also, it's very really important that everybody is aware of the fact that. Lying this to an immigration is officer, it's considered a crime. So Yay. do not lie to an immigration officer. Never. But also, if you don't offer any information about your immigration status or your country of origin, anything related to, to that to that. Why not? Crime. Also, you have the right to speak to an attorney. But it will and cost you money. Right to speak to an attorney. And you have to pay for it. Yeah, it will be very expensive. And if possible, in the Know Your Rights card, if you could write the phone number for the attorney that you already spoke with previously, but you have to then pay. that would be very helpful as well. Everybody needs to know that if at some point you are detained by immigration, please do not sign anything. Even though you, you might speak English very well, but it's not the same thing, colloquial language, colloquial uh, writing, than legal language. Sometimes, it's difficult to understand uh, these legalities, and, and you might be signing something that you are not even aware of. Okay, so it's really important. Do not sign anything unless you talk to an attorney. Wow, okay. Cuba, huh? This is what they do in Cuba, not in America. No. I have a question. No, sir. Questions at the end. I'm sorry. Please sit down, sir. I won't be answering any questions. Questions are at the end. It's been explained a few times through these yellow cards. Okay? Thank you very much. Now, let's talk a little bit about how you interact with immigration when they show up at your house. Because if you get somebody knocking on your door at 4 in the morning, <laughs> is Domino's Pizza? I don't think so. Go right? peacefully. Something, so. Something is happening. So you need to be aware that you have the right to not open your door when somebody, when immigration is knocking on your door. Okay? Not even with a security chain. You know that chain link that some folks have in the apartments for security purposes? That is an invitation for law enforcement to come inside your house. So just make sure that you have it closed. Keep it shut. Do not open your door. Now, ask to see the warrant. Ask to see the paper they're carrying. And since you're keeping the door closed, just tell them to slide them under the door. So in that way, you will be able to see the paperwork, and you do not need to open that door. She's also, you need to ask the officer the law. Um, to, I mean, to see either the warrant for the to search a house, or if it's an, a deportation order, whatever they are announcing you're doing at your work at your house. And if the information in in the paperwork is correct, you do need to allow them to come in your house, but. 
just make sure that the damn door it's written <laughs> <your name, laughs> on the form and it's signed by a judge. And here's the kicker, and here's what's really important. Any document that uh, an immigration officer uh, will allow them the, the right to deport you needs to be signed by a judge. And guess what? Most of them are not. So you need to be really aware of the fact that this document needs to be signed by a judge. And here's an example of an order signed by an immigration officer. So if they're you telling the you. Top, it says words of removal and deportation, but here at the bottom, in the signature, it says the law is changing an under officer. Trump. That is not an immigration judge. Changed now, under here, Trump. Here's a sample order that it's signed by a judge, and then you see it's given by a district court, and then at the very end of it, it says judge, whatever the name of the person is. Wow. So you need to be really aware of the fact that in order for you to, you know, have to open that door, the judge, I mean, that the order needs to be signed by a judge. Also, in the case of interacting with immigration at the workplace, it's important to know that, yeah, immigration officer, they also need to have a warrant to come into your workplace or an authorization by the employer of the ma or the manager of the place. That's right. It's really important that everybody is uh, aware of the fact that if you run, if you look gibberish, if you, you know, if you show nervousness, then that's going to give the officials what's called probable cause. And they might stop you just to ask you. So just keep calm. Everybody needs to keep calm. You don't have nothing to hide. You don't have nothing to be afraid of. And don't try Anything to, to hide. escape. And always remember that card that you're carrying with you <laughs> to remain silent. Because oh that is the main right we all have. And if you find this immigration officer at a public place, then um, there are certain things that you need to be aware of. First Janice, of all, say that again. do not offer, do not volunteer in any information to this officer regarding your immigration status, your country of origin, how did you came in the country. There's no need for How that. did you come to the country? Right, let's go back to the first uh, right we we'll talk about. You're going to remain silent, therefore you're not going to volunteer any of that information. Also, do not carry any documents from your country of oh. origin. Oh. 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 That's oh. outrageous. I want to be undocumented. Oh my God. God. I can't oh. believe they're treating people like that. That's like oh. Oh. You're supposed to carry the documents. Fraudulent. It's just not an identification that it's valid. Oh. It's political current that, landscape you are or situation. To your form, okay, it's not going to be. Oh, but oh, just make sure that you carry with you yeah. identifications issued by this country, either by the school district, uh, uh, even go to organizations that offer enough. some sort of ideas. If you get involved, if you help others, if you volunteer, at certain nonprofit organizations, oh, they could give you an identification showing all your information, and it's going to be issued from this country, okay? And uh, never, ever, ever oh. a person should either have or carry false documents. Remember, that is a crime punished by the law. And now, one of the most uh, pressing issues right now is how to prepare a family plan. Things that everybody needs to be aware of and things that everybody needs to remember. And uh, at the entrance, we have flyers with the information of preparing the family plan if you want to take this information with you home. Number one and most important thing is that you need to share this information with your family, everybody that lives in your home. Because you, you're not going to do breaks the law. if you and your partner knows about this information, but then your children are not aware of. Remember, this is a conversation that needs to happen at home with your family. Mm. That's why it's called a family plan. Oh. I've been at schools and middle schools, elementary schools, where the teachers are really concerned because the children that are going to school that they were born in this country, they're suffering, they're concerned, they're little kids. They're afraid that they will get home and their parents won't be there. So it's really oh, important oh, for everybody to share this information and, and know how to talk to your kids, okay? Uh, also, if you have children, 
the, the first concern you're going to have is what's going to happen to my children if I'm taken away? If I don't go back home? Take them well, with you. Well, you need to yes, uh, take, take care of your yeah. affidavit. Take your children take with you. Take your affidavit uh, with a trusted family member or a friend. Somebody family reunification trust, in the home country. Please include this person on the emergency contacts at school. Oh my gosh. Just to ensure that this, this individual is going to be able to pick up your child from school if something were to happen. Also, another thing that is very important is you need to find an immigration attorney. But you need to find Spend an immigration money. attorney ahead of time. Don't wait for something to happen. You need to do your own research. You need to contact agencies or nonprofits that could, could refer you to trustworthy attorneys, individuals that are really going to have your best interest at mind. That they're not going to be there just to take away your money. Uh, <laughs> think about the consequences. Oh my gosh, yeah, they important. are. It's really important to find that attorney that is going to help you want your money. ahead of time. Go with your family, explain your situation. There are many, many, many immigration reliefs that folks are not aware of. For example, there's a U visa for people who are victims of a violent crime in this country. There's a T visa for people who are victims of trafficking. There's also family unity, family oh. petitions. There's DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival. There's many youth that still qualify for Deferred Action and that they have not submitted an application. There's all different kind of opportunities that unless you go and sit with an attorney and explore all your possibilities, you won't be able to, it's to find out and know what are your, your possible chances. That is very important. Very so expensive. once you decide who your attorney is going to be, and you sit there and explain your situation, then get the information of that attorney, put it on the card, and you know your rights card, and then no. also hang it on the fridge, right next to Dominic's <laughs> pizza, the one that came knocking on your door. Right? On so just put all that information together, and um, another good fridge. advice is to keep all of your important documents together, accessible. And everybody in the family needs to know where are those documents. And that is the box where you're going to put your passport, where you're going to put your matricula, where you're going to put your toy, where you're going to put the birth certificate of your children. Because many of the children were born already here, so all those documents go in there. And then if in the future you need to do any type of immigration paperwork or something, everything is in that box. Everybody in the house knows where it's at, what and then it's going to be accessible for all of the And last but not least, <laughs> you need to prepare yourself for unexpected expenses. You have to be ready because you, if a person is detained, you might need to pay a bond, an immigration bond. What happens is if the person that's detained is the main breadwinner in the house? then who's going to help you Go home. gather and put together the money for the bond. So it's really important that you start saving. Also, for <laughs> legal expenses, an attorney is not for free. I mean, you go to work every day to get paid your salary. An attorney is the same thing. So we all need to be aware that these are expenses that we need to be prepared for. It doesn't mean that you have to have all your money together, but at least you need to have you know, your money to start off the process. You need to have your money to bail a person out of jail for whatever reason they're detained. How so much this money? is really important to take into consideration, okay? So, I uh, really hope you guys learned something. Uh, take some information. Uh, the flyers are in the back in the other room. And thank you very much.